Let's return now to the breaking news this evening. Czech police say that more than 15 people have been killed and nine people are seriously wounded in a shooting near a university in central Prague. Officers say that the person who opened fire is also dead and was a student at the Charles University in the Faculty of Arts. The suspect's father was also found dead earlier today. Let's return to Philip Narad, Head of Foreign News Desk at Czech Radio. Hello, Philip. Thank you very much. We are getting some more information very gradually, aren't we, filtering through about this tragic incident. I mean, so many young people dead. It's absolutely horrifying. Obviously, we send you our deepest condolences and to everybody in the city of Prague today. But what else can you tell us about what has gone on there? Yeah, uh, as you said, uh, he, uh, the the shooter or the sh uh, shooting man was a student of the of, of the faculty of uh, philosophical faculty. Uh, he was uh, 24 years old, and uh, he uh, the police found his father dead in the morning. So they started to search for him uh, as a because they they uh, he was suspicious that he could uh, he could murdered. His his father, so uh, they uh, they search for him also uh, in the building of the faculty, uh, and uh, during the during the afternoon, he started uh, mass shooting in the in the building, killed as you said, and as said the police president a few minutes ago, uh, more than fifteen people uh, and twenty four others are uh, wounded, nine uh, seriously. Uh, we still don't know the the reasons the police uh, president said only that he was inspired by the similar uh, accident uh, abroad but we don't know which uh, which incident or which attack uh, it should be and uh, so we don't know the the reasons for the for the shooting but our minister of interior said there are no connection with uh, international terrorism or uh, anything uh, like this. I mean, it's impossible not to imagine, Philip, isn't it, that as the hours unfold, people will come forward and, and, and maybe say that this young man was a very troubled young man. They may talk about, you know, the relationship with his father. They may talk about uh, some kind of... Um, extremism maybe or, or they may talk about a, a, a broken relationship or they may talk about some kind of you know psychiatric condition or something of that kind because if the police knew that his father was killed this morning then and were looking for him this afternoon then there were people who were aware that this was a man you know with some kind of mission in his mind or with some kind of psychotic trouble going on i suppose yeah it's, it's, it's possible. Uh, the only thing we know for sure that the uh, police searched for him and uh, they uh, they uh, sent a warrant or message announcement that uh, he was uh, that he was uh, he was dangerous and he, he had a gun. So they uh, they they were suspicious that he can uh, he can shoot again or kill, uh, kill someone someone else so uh, they were definitely searching searching for uh, for him they uh, they knew that uh, he he was dangerous but we still don't know uh, whether he had some mental or other other troubles or what was the uh, reason for all these uh, horrible accidents that it, we are it, uh, witnessing now it doesn't sound as if the police said we are searching for this philosophy student of 24 years old. He's wounded, he has a gun, and therefore we think that the university premises should be cleared, everybody should vacate, everybody should take refuge somewhere else because this young man is, is in some kind of state, mental state or whatever it is of anguish, and is on the prowl. It doesn't sound as if a warning was issued or if it was, it wasn't in time, unfortunately. Maybe not. Uh, so far, we know police was in the building of the philosophical faculty a few minutes or one hour uh, before uh, before uh, start of the uh, shooting. They were searching for uh, him, and the the, the head of the faculty sent a warning to the students per email that there might be something happening or that there might be a danger. Oh. In the in the building, but 
at the same time, obviously, the accident started. And so many students uh, were not able to leave the building. So they had to uh, hide uh, in the classrooms, uh, on the roof and uh, uh, so somewhere else. So uh, obviously, uh, everything happened very, very quickly. Uh, the 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 presence of uh, police in the in the uh, in the faculty maybe he uh, he might uh, he might uh, saw them we don't know uh, what uh, what uh, what brought him to to start start shooting but uh, all the uh, the the line of the uh, of what, what was happening was very uh, very quickly uh, one, uh, one each after another so it seems to be very, very quickly. And at the same time, police was able to eliminate him uh, also very quickly. So they may uh, saved many lives because uh, uh, when they announced the, the incident, the shooting, and then the elimination of the, of the uh, sh uh, shooting man, there was some half an hour or not, not, not whole an hour uh between these uh, uh, these two announcements so they reacted very quickly and maybe saved many lives well our deepest condolences and our thoughts and our prayers are with you and with the people of prague particularly those people who will have lost beloved children from their families today i'm so so sorry to be covering this story with you philip thank you very much indeed